The whoosh bottle is a very popular demonstration and uh, there are a couple different ways you can do it. The approach that I'll be showing you involves the use of 70% isopropyl alcohol. Kathleen will be using 100% rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol and Steve will be using 95% ethanol. What we hope to show you is that concentration does make a difference in terms of how fast things will burn. Being 70% uh, alcohol, 30% water should slow the reaction down and we'll see a slower burn. Kathleen's being 100% alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, should burn much faster. Now Steve's being 95% ethyl alcohol, the ethyl alcohol has a slightly higher vapor pressure. And so Steve should be in a pretty good race with Kathleen. Kathleen has the advantage of no water in her isopropyl alcohol, whereas Steve has a slight advantage in the slightly greater vapor pressure in the ethyl alcohol. But hindering Steve would be the 5% water. So it's almost a race and I fully expect to finish third in this race, but these two should indeed be neck and neck. I guess we'll find out. Are we ready to play? We ready. are ready. Excellent. Let's load the whoosh bottles and see who wins. If there is a danger in this demonstration, it would be not using enough alcohol because it's important to make sure that you have more than enough alcohol so that oxygen is the limiting factor. Because we want a burn, not an explosion. Uh -huh. Shake, 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 shake. Round and round. It's important as you do this demonstration to ensure that you have the neck of the bottle adequately coated as well so that that way you'll be able to light the vapors. If there is a danger, as I mentioned, it would be adding not enough alcohol because what can happen there is you can achieve perfect stoichiometry and that's not something that you want to have happen. You want a burn, not an explosion. Do, 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 do. <laughs> right. As you can see, there are a variety of swirling techniques. I would encourage you to practice at home and find out what works for you. Some will go overhead, some will go top down. Others will just simply roll it much like a cement mixer. Some go end to end. <laughs> yeah, end to end. Again, you need to find the technique that works for you. I'm feeling ready. We're going to move the excess alcohol a safe distance away with our left hand on the aim and flame. Light aim and flame. Aim and flame. Oh, you, okay. Lighting splint. The meter stick with the wooden splint will allow us to be a greater distance away from the bottle. Left hand on. Okay. Ready, Steve-O? Ready. And let's light them. As you can see, Whoa. there was a slight difference in the rate of a reaction. <laughs> It's important always to make sure that you follow the proper safety precautions when you perform this demonstration because certainly you don't want this to be your last demonstration that you do.